This video was created by the ICANN Accessibility Project for a series of e-learning modules designed for domestic violence and sexual assault providers to enable them to make their services more accessible to people with disabilities. The agency spotlight videos are included in this module so that providers may learn more about statewide agencies that are available for support to survivors with disabilities. Tell us three great things about your agency. RIL is a community-based, nonprofit, non-residential program which provides services to individuals with disabilities, their families, and the community. RIL was formed in 1983 and is part of a nationwide nonprofit network of Centers for Independent Living. RIL believes independent living means having the opportunity to make your own decisions, pursuing activities of your choosing, and having the dignity of risk. RIL is unique because many of the staff are individuals with disabilities. The organization was created by people with disabilities for people with disabilities. RIL provides a safe place for people with disabilities, empowers them to be independent, promotes disability pride and disability rights, and advocates from the perspective of people with disabilities. What services does your agency provide for people with disabilities? Our core services are information and referral, peer support and peer counseling, independent living skills training, individual and systems level advocacy, and support with transition and community integration. We also provide services in locating affordable housing, services for the deaf and hard of hearing, community education and outreach, and home modifications and ADA compliance. How would someone with a disability access services at your organization? To get further information about services, contact RIL by calling 804-353-6503 or by TTY 804-353-6583. Our website is ril-va.org. We also have a Facebook page, Resources for Independent Living, Inc. Do you provide any services to people who may be experiencing abuse? Centers for Independent Living seek other available resources in the community to avoid unnecessary duplication of services. Our focus is on collaboration with partnering agencies in providing accessible and appropriate services. We work with survivors of abuse by connecting them with community partners who provide appropriate services. All RIL staff are mandated reporters. What are the steps involved in receiving services? How long will it take before services begin? Is there a waiting list? There is no wait list for services. Interested persons must complete orientation with a staff member. To get more information about services or how to set up a date for orientation, contact RIL by calling 804 353-6503. Deaf or hard of hearing individuals can contact RIL by TTY at 804-353-6583. You may also visit our website or Facebook page or send an email to info at ril-va.org. Is there a cost for services? There is no charge for individuals to use our services. There is a service fee billed to agencies for any referrals or requests. Where are you located? If you are located throughout the state, how can providers get in touch with you? Is there any public transportation nearby? The main office is located in Richmond and there is a branch office in Petersburg. We serve individuals with disabilities in Planning District 15 and Part of 19 which includes the cities of Richmond, Hopewell, Petersburg and Colonial Heights, as well as the counties of Charles City, Chesterfield, Goochland, Hanover, Henrico, New Kent, Powhatan, and Prince George. There is public transportation available to the main office, but some of the counties have limited public transportation options. How can a service provider get connected to your agency? They can contact RIL by phone or email. Do you provide training and support for service providers, such as training on assistive devices? 
RIL provides disability awareness and ADA compliance training, as well as training on other disability-related topics. Depending on the needs of the individual, RIL works collaboratively with other agencies to provide training on assistive devices. Is there anything else that you'd like to share? Our mission is to assist individuals with disabilities to live independently and to encourage community change to support options and opportunities. We provide services to individuals and community groups that strengthen the integration of individuals with disabilities into community life. We serve as advocates for the personal and collective rights of individuals with disabilities in the area of accessibility, education, employment, transportation, and all other areas of equal opportunity. We develop new resources in the community to support the lifestyle chosen by individuals with disabilities. We bring individuals and groups together to develop common goals and work towards achievement, and we act as a spokesperson for individuals with disabilities in the community and in public and governmental relations. This video was developed by the ICANN Accessibility Project. The mission of the ICANN Accessibility Project is to promote and facilitate awareness about abuse of people with disabilities and to advocate for equal access to services and legal protections. The ICANN Accessibility Project is a collaboration between the Virginia Commonwealth University School of Social Work and the Partnership for People with Disabilities. This project is supported by grant number 19M5304VA15, awarded by the Virginia Sexual and Domestic Violence Victim Fund by the Virginia Department of Criminal Justice Services. Opinions or points of view expressed do not necessarily represent those of the Department of Criminal Justice Services. For more information about the project, please contact Jackie Robinson Brock at robinsonjb3 at vcu.edu or 804-628-2965.